blow by blow action for this game number three. Butters and Yuko take it away. Game number three, it goes down to the wire. And let us see Geek Fam versus Sun Sparks. This is a show match, but it really looks like it's they're getting serious right now. And uh Sun Sparks they're probably really aiming to win this. They got their picks, and uh, right now we are having a scuffle here. We are going to be your shoutcasters. I am Butters. Alongside me is Yuko. Yuko, how are you doing? Oh, Kilowash! Honestly, very what? excited, but look at that first but already being secured by Kilowashi. He was being pressured by two people in oh that early game, but looks like here comes the reinforcements. Three people were the three people, but looks like Sorn is very, very low onto his health, and they are just pressuring the Geek Fam very, very greatly. But here in the ball, here with CKLVJ chasing on that Uranus early while for Geek Fam, I think they're more on to the mid to late game but looks like oh no he's being boxed in dominos what is gonna happen to you and he does get taken out he is a farsa very very soft and very very squishy so he, he just got demolished there at the meeting here at the bottom lane though sorn he actually jumped in with a jit kundo against that x board but wasn't able to actually secure the kill biggest shout out to alvin one kill per minute taking a page out of Manjin here but you know JP and the others look at their levels JP is at level 7 and all the members here from the side of Geek Fam is at level 5 level 3 it's not a fair game <laughs> <laughs> given that Ling is the funneled hero for Sunspark they're like bro why but, but of course let's just um, give Geek Fam a chance have a chance to overcome this you know try to jp off guard and make sure that they're not going to commit on to full 5v5 team fights as using for the air sec and was able to take out greed there and that is more gold and more momentum coming over to the geek fam they're already up so this is pretty much up for grabs for geek fam they should make sure that low was hiding in the sides though because sun sparks they're all about the surprise factor like he, when you least expect it they're gonna jump at your face and get the objective right in front of you yeah and uh if you think about it yuko it's really one of the things that you have to look out here for the side of geek fam sun sparks with the perfect initiation and things are really looking bad for them i know that in a sense they have the better team fight to be honest they have the atlas they have the farsa you have the uranus even you even have the roger but rafflesia just being the championship kufra that he is ling on the other hand will take that kill onto dominus dominus here not having a great time onto that farsa but you know reed and the others they're just trying to control and force strolling into park earlier where they were taking that turtle so three members from the fam here at the mid lane and i would like to comment shinbu when he said that the atlas isn't really much of a loss from sun sparks because now they have a very good replacement which is a valir and that's more for slows and more on the back lines but it's very very good oh no jb being chased down right here but will he be able to escape kldj applying pressure to sword as well and of course the legendary sticker oh they jumped in but let's see who will die looks like roger is the first one to die right there in the hands of kilowash that is handy being committed right there onto sword's face and the it exploded, oh. but it didn't actually get the kill yet. They jumped in though. KLBJ got taken out. Stickers being used, but nah, -uh, unstoppable for this JP. They're really having a great time, Dominus and the others. Wow, Dominus getting caught out, and look at that. Just one stun coming out from the Valor. It's enough to take him down. Even with the help of Rafflesia there, just to really make sure that he goes down in the process. Kilowash just being the annoying player that he is. He will stay up to that top lane. And he will try to force out as much as as much reactions onto the side here of Geek Fam. JP on the other hand, really trying to go for that Uranus. But Uranus here being a pain. And JP will get kicked. And that kick will cost him his life. Rafflesia on the other hand with the flicker trying to get away. Rumpel on the other hand will be a... Uh, Stunning that greed, but greed will make sure that he pays 
the uh, he pays the price on that attempt. Arts having a good Uranus on game number one, not really seeing the same success. Dominus with the feathered airstrike, and look at this Yuko. They're really just trying to you know defend the turrets. They're really stopping the people here from the side and side of Sun Sparks from doing whatever. Committing a tad bit too much of skills to JP. I mean. Ling is very difficult to catch, let's give them that. But the amount of skills and the amount of time that they're actually giving to JP, it's always enough for Sun Sparks to just bounce back. Like, okay, everything's on cooldown, they're probably tired, that they're probably not in a good position, let's go in. But looks like KLDJ actually got taken out. The Fredded Airstrike plus the Wave of the Dragon from Cho right there. Look at Arts. He doesn't really look like a Uranus right now, JP having way too much damage. Reflecia going for the Tyrant's Rage, Tyrant's Revenge combination, and he just gets that kill. Dominus here will be the target for Kilowash and Oraveki. Of Oraveki! That is true. Oh, looks like the blue side is the one that's applying pressure on to the red side. And Ling just having the time of his life, able to take out that Roger. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that no one can resist the damage from JP's Ling right now. Killing Spree coming over to JP, able to take out that show. That is a two for none in favor of Sunsparks. And look at this right now. They don't mind. Like, okay, they're chasing us, but I think we can escape. But. Kill BJ does get taken out. He got caught look out there. So that is one dead body from Sunspark. And look at Kilowash with the split push. He got seen, but he just gave enough damage to the turret. Bit of Sunsparks. Remember, guys, this is a show match. Everyone is just having fun. Everyone is trying to prove themselves uh, worthy for this win into this show matches battle of the best of the best the best of malaysia versus the best of the philippines rumpel on the other hand he will just try and control the people here from the side of sun sparks ling will go down they don't have their primary source of damage but look at this kilowash not really caring about if they win or lose that fight what he cares about is turrets he just wants to go with the objective. You, you know what? My teammates can die. I just want to go with the objective. Smekiel coming over to Farsa and the Geek Fam is going to get that buff. That is a 4 to none in favor of Geek Fam. Kilo was just hiding at the burgers. He got seen, but look at the damage out. But he was able to dish out. Will it be enough? But of course, 1v4, you're probably going to die. And he does get taken out. First wipe out of the game. And if I'm not mistaken, of the series. So Geek Fam, this is a free lord might as well take it as fast as you can because you don't want jp jumping in on that very important objective and jp will jump in will he get punished that is the question the now the punish is on the lord he will take down the show and the show here will go down to that lord swing and my goodness look at this this might be the actual fight here and the lord will go to the hands on the side of sun sparks rafflesha and the others they play that perfectly jp giving up his life but for a greater cause as well and just jump straight his face but of course that is i don't think they're gonna commit entirely they just want to enclose geek fam into their base kill at the front line but he doesn't really care he just wants to get the turret he was able to get the mid lane inhibitor turret down so they are just gonna back away well, that is true but i mean you oh my okay first off you try to get ling second don't go with full-on 5v5s because it's gonna be scary, it's gonna be very, very risky. But look at that, looks like they're gonna try and get there is the Lord. Where is the Lord? The body receiving one of the damage right there. They were able to at least demolish the bot lane turret from Geek Fam's side, but Geek Fam was able to defend this base. Rafi receiving a lot of damage, Kill BJ receiving a lot of pressure from Arts as well, but he is forced to go back. Three people left at the base for Geek Fam. They should work quite the amount of time which, which is very commendable and look at this jp just going in not caring about any control onto the side of geek fam he just went in tried to go for the poke and went for the tempest of blades but onto the top lane members here from sun sparks they're really converging up top and they really just want to take this 
last year clitter it onto the side of Geek Fam. Kilowash just being sneaky, he goes straight for Dominus. Dominus will just fly out. He knows he can't. He knows he can't survive that even if he wanted to. But Kilowash will pay the price. That turn on Kilowash was perfect on the side of uh, Geek Fam. But Valir just giving out a lot of control. Arts here might be onto the receiving end of that last insanity. Won't be enough to take him down though. Immortality will be pop. JP onto the back line. He will try to go for another Tempest of Blade. Tempest of Blades will connect on three. But right now, there is Sword with the way of the Dragon. And the way of the Dragon will probably take him down. No, he will get away. That is one messy team. I'm just gonna let them do it. And now they're actually chasing down <laughs> this greed. Will they be able to take him out though? Looks like the answer will will be there for you, for you charging that first skill. Green jumps in, Soren being seen right there. Ooh, CC for days! And Soren received a lot of damage right there, but he was able to make it out of there alive. Make that, okay, I think that back. He got taken out by Dini, but JP got taken out as well. And Masha was able to take out that far. So everyone is dying! Oh my god, another extended team fight. But looks like Sunsparks is the one that's gonna come out of here smiling. Immortality being popped from this Atlas. Will he be able to get away? Kilowash with that movement speed boost looks like, nope, you are gonna die, dear bro, oh, dear opponent. And here we could see Roger. Will he at least snipe someone out? Sunsparks, do you have the armor? Killing speed coming over to Roger. Kilowash does get taken out. Makes it a double kill because x -Borg got taken out as well. Lord being enhanced. Stickers being used by Team Geek Fam. And that is a 3-4-3. Three, three. That was a very messy and excited team fight. But beautiful, beautiful Mobile Legends. Oh no, he is being boxed in art, arts, rather receiving a lot of damage. But Greed is just trying to run away. Looks like he's the one that's gonna get taken out. JP says hello, and boy, this is the re this is the backup that Sun Sparks waited. We'll try to go for, but right now they're on equal ground. This is the Lord objective. JP staying near that Lord area. He does have his retribution. Let's see. 10 4 5. JP, will he get it? No retributions onto the other side. Last insanity will be used to proc that perfectly. And now they are just trying to run away. But look at this. Last insanity is there. Kill VJ will go down. And that is going to be Kilowash into the bottom lane. He will try to clear as much waves as possible there and lead these minions to near the Lord. And that is going to be. He is one of the main players here for the side of geek fam the damage is coming out from him and especially right now dominus is out he will be the primary damage dealer here onto the side of geek fam P uh, geek fam my so if you think about it kill vj and the others they're they're just really trying to support jp and the uh, kilowash as of the moment because Kilowash in 1v1 situations, Damasha is really strong, but you can't really see 1v1 situations here if you're in the side of Masha because they're going in groups, they're going in pairs. And that is actually a very smart move from Geek Fam because they're avoiding their the possibility that they're gonna get picked off. Ooh, he got knocked off ever reflection receiving a lot of damage. Will he be able to survive that? Looks like the answer will be yes, he does go with the charge, but I guess that is just for a taunt. He has his eyes on Atlas Sworn again with the stickers. What is Sunspark gonna do? They jumped in. They're gonna go with the micro. They're here, they're here for the back They just want to go straight to the base master. Does get taken out, but the god like coming over to Roger Bottling Chart being taken out by greed right there and that is a two for none in favor of geek fam but their base is at 50 percent of the of its health okay so as much as uh, uh there is uh, actually a thing about rgl being three days now and we are on our third day 12 a.m it's already 12 30 a.m into the philippines and wow dominus here will be the next target and that have that kill happened by 12 35 wow <laughs> It's the third day of the RGL, Yuko. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun right now. You're having fun. Like, I, I have enough energy for this, and our players are just very happy as well. Look at that. That's the last time to be committed right there. But he was able to at least dish out a lot of damage, and Roger does get taken out. But it's going to be a 1v3 situation. He does have immortality, but Valir is just very, very squishy against this. And he is chasing greed. He will not stop until he slays this Valir. And that is a kill coming over to Uranus. I'm not sure if that is a good choice because Kilowash and KLBJ 
they are at the base and they are of course they want to end the game this is 20 minutes and they almost have 70k uh, gold earned onto the side of Sunspark. <laughs> they're not playing MOBA anymore. This is MMORPG. They're just farming gold and trying to get the best they're items. Farming, that bro. If, if there was refining in in uh, in uh, Mobile Legends, this could be a plus ten Blade of Despair already. But <laughs> this is a fun. This is a fun match. A long but fun match. And look at this, Kilowash and the others. They're just really trying to end this smartly and roughly. This is the time I think where he should get one of his world uh, Southeast Asia famous initiations. Man, Ovo Raveki going for that Berserker Fury, and that is a lot of damage that's going to go to the side of Roger. He is 12, 6, and 9. Right now, JP though he is 13, 5, and 5. Ooh. Looks like that uh, that got caught out there, but Gree just doing his best to be able to give as much CC and slow that tank. But Atlas does use his ultimate, GP receiving a lot of damage. He needs to back off. Sorn flickers in, kicks GP right in the face, and he does get taken out. Oh no, this is gonna be bad for Team Sunsparks. But wait, they do have Look Lord RT actually gonna win this. Look at Revelation, he's just slapping. He's just slapping the base. He wants to sleep. Oh my goodness, and Sun Sparks, they will get the win, my goodness. And Proflisa just slapping the hell out of that base. He's just saying, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep. And he Please did it. give us the win. <laughs> give us the win, give us the, the win. We will sleep, we will rise, and we will sleep. That's <laughs> what happened there. And my goodness, that match very fun and congratulations to geek fam and sun sparks for showing us a very good performance in terms of uh just the show 